Okay. I just got the sweater, so I really want to use it, but fuck, it's hot here. I have a whale, her name is Jesus, because even though you can't see her, she's still there. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. You know, fuck it. I need to like stop saying fuck. Why am I saying fuck so much today? Am I gonna have to edit that out? I'm not. I think my little cousin watches these videos. Okay, let's start. Uno, dos, tres. Hey guys, it's Tom, and today uh, I'm gonna be awfully selfish because I'm gonna be talking to myself. But pretend like I'm talking to you because really I'm the one that needs this video the most. You know, maybe someone out there is feeling the same way I am feeling. You know, just, just everything. I feel everything. <laughs> Hello. Hola. Hola. Estás en mi video. Di hola. Ah, uh, hola. <laughs> ¿Qué onda? ¿Cómo estás? No, pues no te preocupes. Te marco ahora, ¿no? Dame como unos 20 minutos. ¿Dónde? Dame unos 20 minutos. Yes. Bye. Bye. Fucking war. So, I've been having these highs of energy and creativity and light and uh, motivation followed by these low low pits of negativity and just overall not good feelings so as anyone with uh, crippling anxiety does i resorted to youtube and i came across this video of someone asking a question that Snapped me back harder than any old man asking for nudes. Bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck? The question goes If I could do anything, anything, knowing that I could not fail, what would that be? This question, ma'am, ma'am, this question shook me so hard I had to send out a tsunami warning. So if you're in the mood, pause this video and I want you to like write down like one or maybe two things that you would do if you knew you couldn't fail. So my little coconut brain started rambling and rambling and rambling and I came to the conclusion that I don't really know. Like honestly, I, I just want to make people feel, I guess. Oh. That's kind of corny, but you know, it's my truth. For the longest time, I wanted to be an entertainer, but I can't act, sing, dance, or am too awkward to be a particularly compelling porn actor. And honestly, I don't love those things enough to invest my time and energy on them. But hey, you know what I do love? Drag. Gay, 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 what do gay, you say? gay, gay. And that's honestly a long stretch for me because I don't know anything about makeup, fashion, sewing, performing, or tucking my... well. But I mean, I do it, I work for it. If I knew I couldn't fail, I'd go out to the club tomorrow if it were, you know, legal because... Coronavirus! I think we also have to ask ourselves, do we like it enough to be it? Or do we like it in a more uh, third person kind of way? Kind of like, I love movies, but I don't particularly want to make movies. A lot of people, can't make that distinction, especially gay people, because we always see a boy and we're like, ooh, do I want that boy or do I want to be that boy? Also, I love psychology. I would love to be a therapist in some kind of way. I feel like we just went from zero to a hundred, like, I'm gonna be a drag queen. Oh, but also I want to be a licensed therapist. Then I guess I'd be a drag queen therapist. Honestly, I'd go with her. <laughs> Honey! <laughs> Honey! Honey! Ah! Okay, so those things you wrote down, ask yourselves if you like it enough to work hard for them and invest your energy in them. And if your answer is yes, well, baby, you are one step closer than you were at the beginning of this video. If you want, you can uh, write down below what your answers were because honestly, I just exposed myself. I want to be a drag queen therapist. So put any crazy ideas you have and I'd love to see that. And if not, hey, 
I don't know. Another thing that's going to help us a lot is in how we define failure because a lot, a lot of people have different definitions of failure. Ugh, coffee break. Um, I feel like, I feel like, what do I feel like? <laughs> I feel like a lot of people define failure as doing something and then failing at it, I guess. Like it not going the way you want it to or it not going in a particularly good way. For me, and this is just new because I used to be in that camp and I would fail all of the fucking time. But for me, failing is not doing it like at all. It's more, failure for me is more like a ghost of things you, you didn't dare to do or things you didn't have the nerve. I guess the drive, the drive to do it. But you know what? I think if, if failure is a ghost, unlike my past relationships, I feel like we can revive those. Like just um, do it in a way. I mean, it sounds kind of obvious because everyone always tells you, oh, just do it. Just go ahead. Just take the leap of faith and all that crap. Not crap, it's actually very true. <laughs> but you know, the world needs more people following their their truths and a lot of a lot of people just fall down and fear failure. And that's based on their way of looking at failure. Because if you look at it the way I just described it, you can't really fail if you do it. Like if you actually go on and do it and and have fun and be happy, you can't fail. Like you can't, it's literally impossible. And you know what? If they don't go the way you planned them or if you realize that that just wasn't really for you, you succeeded because you are one step closer to being and doing the stuff you were meant to do. So, I mean, Sorry. So with these three things, and we have them well defined, if you could do anything, knowing that you could not fail, what would that be? It could be one, it can be two, it can be all the things, I don't know, I don't make the rules. And that thing or things that you want to do, are you willing to work for them and invest your energy and time towards them? And last, how do you define failure? I would, I'm really interested. If you want, comment down below. How would you define failure? I feel like that definition is really important for you to have in your mind. I, and also, a lot of people just don't know. They just hear the word failure and uh, just think whatever like textbooks or like school taught us failure was. And I feel like we need to teach our kids that we need to try everything. If we want, if we want it, just do it and not be afraid of failure. Hi, um, I just wanted to make it like super extra clear that um, if your aspiration was to be a serial killer or a Nazi, you can like, you can, you can quit that. Like just no, don't, okay? Thank you. <laughs> so by having these three things clear in your mind, we can steer ourselves a little, <laughs> that was, don't. It might really steer ourselves in what we want to do and what we were meant to do in a way. So with that, I think I'm done for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the setting. I hope you enjoyed what I had to say. I hope you enjoyed Jesus because we need more of her in our lives. <laughs> Is this offensive? It's not, right? I'm sorry. Again, I really hope I could provide you with some sense of guidance and again, I'm talking to myself because I'm the main person that needed to hear what I was saying. And also like, just thanks for listening to this weird therapy session I just had with myself, not facilitated by a drag queen, sadly, I know. And I really hope you have a great day, honestly, because you you looked cute today, so might as well ha have a great day, right? I mean like, just have the whole package. So follow me, follow me on my stuff, all the stuff, you know, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and that's really all I have because I don't have Facebook or a life. I'm Tom, you're beautiful, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, and goodbye.
You know what? I'm gonna do it. No more excuses. I'm going to listen to what I am saying and I'm going to be a drag queen therapist. I'm gonna do both and probably not at the same time because you know I don't know how how great that will be for myself, but video coming soon Drag transformation done by a complete idiot. Say goodbye, Jesus. Goodbye. <laughs> I need friends.